probes to Mars, telescopes searching for other Earths, listening for life out there. There's no proof yet, but the body of evidence is growing. We are not alone. But one thing that strikes you is that every time we learn something new about the universe, what we learn is that our situation doesn't seem to be all that special. And uh, that suggests that life is not all that special either. But it is still just that, a guess, based in part on astronomy and overload, findings from telescopes like Hubble, Spitzer, Chandra, new discoveries at a breathtaking rate, revealing the sheer mind-blowing grandeur of the universe. Consider these heavenly numbers just for a minute. Perhaps one trillion, with a T, that's right, trillion galaxies in the universe. Stars, you ask? Okay, how about 300 sextillion? That's three followed by 23 zeros. So where does that leave us with planets? More specifically, planets like our own. We're learning something that's of fundamental importance to mankind. How frequent are Earth around other stars? Bill Baruki is the principal investigator for NASA's Kepler telescope. Its mission, find planets similar in size to the Earth orbiting their suns. So far, it has been successful beyond expectations. Of the 1,200 planet candidates Kepler has found, nearly 70 are Earth-sized. The indication from data that we have in hand is that small planets are common, that the, that the galaxy makes them efficiently, so they're going to be abundant. The number is large enough, so there must be you know, many billions of such planets in our galaxy. So that's, that's been a very happy surprise. How many are orbiting at just the right distance from the sun to support life? More than 50 candidates found so far where life might be possible. What Kepler can't do is detect life. So for now, that will remain just a guess.